All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So I got another welder off of Amazon. Let's review it and check it out. Look how compact this thing is. All right, so we got our stinger lead, 220 adapter, and a ground clamp. Man, I can't get over how compact this thing is. Arc 200S. It's got an on and off, fan down there, 110 cord, nice carry handle. Here's where you put the electrodes, minus and positive. Let's go turn this thing on. So I did all my testing at 220 volts. Sweet, it stick welds pretty well. All right, so here's the stick electrodes I was using. These are 7018. You can see they're not that fresh, but they did a pretty good job. These are 332nd inch rods. All right, so here's the setup. I got this TIG torch I had laying around here. All right, so the torch I'm using is a WP17V. Um, if you want a TIG with this thing, you gotta buy your own torch. It doesn't come with one, so you can see. It goes from my flow meter down then it goes into this little tube and it goes in here and it's got this manual valve right here to open it to let the argon flow out. I'm using pure argon. See, it's got the lead and the gas hookup going through it like this. Then it just plugs right in right here. Lanthanated blue, 332nd TIG electrodes, 332nd filler rod, 11 CFH flow rate, and I just got some mild carbon steel here. Let's see how this thing does. All right, it's on lift TIG. Goes to 120, we'll try 100 amps. All right, so here's some welds. I'm just playing with it without any filler. You know, the lift TIG is hard because you can't control the current on the start and stop. Let's see what it'll do with some filler rod. All right, so I'm not that great a TIG welder, obviously. The machine's working flawlessly, but you can see on the stop, it's kind of hard because you don't have a foot pedal. And it's hard to get the post flow on the stop because, you know, you just got that little knob. But the machine does fine, you know. For small jobs, it's not going to be a problem. You just got to clean up your welds a little bit. 100 amps. We got about 100 amps. All right, so here's the best weld I can get out of it. You know, blame the welder, not the welder. Like I said, I'm not that great a TIG welder, but the machine does great. All right, there's a nice looking little bead I got out of it. All right, there's another nice looking bead. So when you're doing TIG with this thing, you gotta make sure that your electrode is negative and the ground is positive. So the ground electrode is on the bottom and the torch is on the top. On the TIG cups, I experimented with a couple of them. Uh, I tried a number seven and a number five and six. But I settled with the number six. It seemed to do a pretty good job. You know, you got to play with these things. A gas lens obviously will work way better. 
I have a bunch of different new, I did it all with new consumables. So, you know, I used a 332nd inch consumable. I didn't test it with any smaller or larger electrodes though. And then for the electrodes, I only tested it with these electrodes. They're 332nd lanthanated blue electrodes. I ground them, they did a pretty good job. I'd like to try it with some other electrodes, but these are what I had on hand. This is a DC only machine. So you're not gonna be welding any aluminum with it. Stick. All right, so when you turn it on, you got your arc, hot start, arc force, and TIG. It's got a little fan down there, the fan's blowing. VRD function, that's to help stop getting shocked. Then you have your electrode sizing down here. You can see as you move the current up, it selects the electrode size for you. You know, help you pick the right one. So if you hold this button down, you can change the readout. So this is a 120 amp machine. It comes from the factory like this, all the way to the max. You know, you can change the output. So when I got it, it was like, you know, 200. And you can see it goes up to 200, but that's not 200 amps. So to correct it, what you gotta do is hold it down comes up like this and I just set mine to 120 because that's how many amps this thing puts out so now you can see it's 120 max and it goes all the way down to 20 amps press the button hot start you can see what you can set it to there zero to all the way to 100 Arc force, zero. To 100. And TIG. 10. To 120 amps. Just to show you how tiny this is, I got this book back here and I'm gonna stick it in here. You can see it fits right in this book bag. And you probably fit two of them in there, maybe three. All right, so this tiny stick welder did a great job. The TIG function works well. It's lift TIG only, no pedal or high frequency start. So I know I'm not that great a TIG welder, it's all right. You can rip apart my TIG welds in the comments, I can take it. The stick electrode's all right. The ground clamp's pretty good. It's got nice heavy duty cables and wiring. And then I did all the welds on the 220. I used the 110 to 220 adapter. You know, it just plugs up. This machine works on 110 too, but I just used the 220. That's what I did all my welds on and it did a good job. And best of all, like I've said a thousand times, it's tiny. Right out of the box, it comes with everything you need to get stick welding. You got to buy the TIG torch separately. That's all right though. They're cheap. I'll put links in the description. You can go check it out down there. Check you on the next one. Later.